Mr. Speaker, we are told that we must immediately pass this government takeover of health care or there will be health care panic in the streets. Now we know the real reason this bill is being rushed to passage, even though no one has had time to read it. Now, according to the speaker, as quoted, we have to pass this bill so that you can find out what is in it. Let me repeat what the speaker said. We have to pass the bill so that you can find out what is in it. After all, it's 2,700 pages long, and it's just too long to find out what's in it before we vote on it. So now we know. It has to be voted on so it can be read. I guess if members read the whole bill before they voted, they might actually vote it down. But there's one thing that we do know that's in this bill, and it's that it steals the right of privacy for all Americans. It will invade people's legal right to medical privacy. The government gets control over everybody's health care information, and it's another reason why we should oppose the bill. The government has no business sticking its nose into people's medical records. It's none of the government's business. The bill creates a health care integrity data bank where the feds have access to everybody's medical records. Health care information is supposed to be between the patient and the doctor, not the patient and some yet unnamed, anonymous, unaccountable federal bureaucrat hiding somewhere in this building. When the government has everybody's medical records, they are at risk for misuse. Giving, medical, giving government bureaucrats access to people's most private and intimate health information means their health records become public property. People's most intimate, intimate private health care information, warts and all, becomes the property of the U.S. government. The federal government grab of health care will eliminate in any masquerade of medical privacy. The 111 new federal agencies in this bill that we have yet to read will be snooping through your records. Talk to your doctor, doctor and the government will know what you said. You got some type of illness or disease? Well, the government's going to know about it. Feeling a bit depressed after a family death and need some medication? Well, the government will even know your mental health issues. Now, is this the kind of information that should be in the hands of federal bureaucrats? A bunch of busybody bureaucrats bestowed with the task to go forth and do good to the people. The famous author C.S. Lewis once said, Of all the tyrannies, a tyranny exercised for the good of its victims may be the most oppressive. It may be better to live under robber barons than under omnipotent moral busybodies. The robber baron's cruelty may sometimes sleep, but those who torment us for our own goodwill will torment us without end. See, don't worry, the bu bureaucrats will boast. It's for your own good that we know this information. It won't hurt too much. Once medical records are available to the feds, every government agency will want to get their hands on those private medical records. That's just the way those bureaucrats work. And every American will be required to be a part of the Big Brother health care database. People won't talk to their doctor anymore about their problems. They'll know somewhere in the deep, dark, dank dungeons of Washington, D.C., a federal bureaucrat will be reading and perusing their medical records. This is an invasion of privacy, and it violates the U.S. Constitution. The whole scheme denies individual liberty and the government takes over, when the government takes over health care. Thomas Jefferson even talked about universal health care once. He said, if the people let government decide what foods they eat, and what medicines they take, their bodies will soon be as a, in a sorry estate as the souls of those who live under tyranny. When government takes over health care, it will equalize poor health for everybody. The government takeover of health care is not about health, and it's sure not about care. It's about government control of our personal lives. And this legislation violates our U.S. Constitution, but it, because it steals the right of privacy right from underneath us, all in the name of taking care of us. And that's just the way it is. I yield back.